In the previous tutorial, we configured our uh, arms and legs in a very specific way to have some specific uh, joint configuration. If you don't, didn't see the other video, it's basically we just unchecked these support elbow joints in order to make it more like game engine friendly. But in this case, because the purpose of this uh, tutorial is to make the best possible deformation, we will check this again. So, but before do it, uh, doing this uh, activation, I want to show you what's the difference. So I'm just going to build quickly here using my hotkey. I'm just building the the arm, only the arm. And if we see the the joints, we see that it's what we expected. One, one joint here on the articulation that it's oriented on this direction. And now if I check this and build again, you can see now that we have three joints here. So this will help us with the deformation because each of these, if I just show the um, the transforms of these joints, you can see here, or maybe not, it's very small, but you can see here the, the joints are, this is rotating with the f arm, this is rotating fully with forearm, and this in the middle is rotating 50-50. On top of that, to help with the deformation, like if we updated this component to this uh, arm tree, and we have this extra element that called it's called the elbow out of thickness or you you see this control also so basically this can be moved to give some thickness here and this with the three joints it's going to help a lot on the deformation if we keep the other uh, configuration because only we have one joint it's going to move here so i'm just going to do it again it's going to be easier just build I just need to delete this. Okay. Now when I rotate you don't see anything but if I use it, this new com control you can see here we lose some support elements to to push this. So it's going to be a l not impossible, but it's going to be a little harder to make it a deformation. So that's the reason because we want this time the, uh, the support elbow joints. And same thing for the legs. So I'm just going to come here. And on my legs, I'm just going to activate support knee joints. Um, and I'm just going to keep also these mirror mid controls activated. And the extra tweaks. Well, I just will do it also. So there's any little extra, so everything is checked basically. Okay, so that's it for the join configuration on the new uh, or the updated components. And now let's move to add the um, gimmick joints. But um, in order to add the gimmick joints, we first need to build the rig. So in this case, I'm just gonna use my duplicate symmetry here. So I'm just going to duplicate this part and also this one, duplicate symmetry. So this is like basically our final guide for this tutorial. And now I'm just going to build. So I'm just going to come here and build from selection. Okay, so we have this bill here, and let's check what we have. Just gonna move it back a little bit so we can see. So you, you know here we have these components, and these components are rotating like that. We can keep it like that, but maybe we can do it uh, repairing this manually later. So we will do it very soon. And same here on the 
on the knees. You can see we have these, but these two maybe if they are parented under another uh, element, around here it's going to be better. So for the moment, um, let's do this manually. So I'm just going to show here on my legs the tweaks that I just did before. So I'm just going to tweak visibility, these ones, and same for the arms. So I'm just going to come here and tweak visibility. Okay, so these are like controls that move one joint at a time. I don't need this anymore. So here, I'm not going to reparent the control itself because it's not a good idea, but I'm just going to check for the root of the control in this case here and reparent directly to this um, tweak con controller. So just reparenting by hand. So same thing here, just move there and reparenting by hand like this. So now when we articulate, you see this, it makes more sense now. This later will be automatized by a custom step, so don't worry, we don't need to repeat this every single time we build the, the rig. So I'm just going to move this here and repair in there. And this, uh, sorry, not this one, the um, this one there. And just going to repair in there. And same for the foot. In this case, just thinking like maybe for the foot it's better not to go to this one because the position is a bit far, but maybe go to the inner ones here. So I'm just change my mind. And just gonna place it there. And this one here. So now we have similar behavior that we have on the arm. Last is the right leg. So same thing, just looking always for the root and reparenting to the control. And again root and control okay so that's it we have this reparented and um, when we had the, the controls you see these are not hide even if they are child the reason is because the controls are hide by hiding the shape of the object, not the, the transform of the object. So the child's still visible, even if we hide that. And that will be another custom step that we'll be doing later to add an extra control to show hide the visibility of these elements, because this will be mainly automatized with the RBF manager. And in some situations, maybe you want to animate by hand, but in many cases it will be automatic so you don't want to, to have this visible all the time okay so we have this ready there this video is getting a little longer than the rest I'm sorry for that okay so just gonna hide my guide here and now I want to add this gimmick joints so to add gimmick joints uh, basically are joints that are um, meant to be um, support joints for the deformation. I have these uh, tools or commands here, but basically we will use this to add blended joint and add support joint. So I want to add uh, on the leg base, so I'm just going to hide the geometry for the moment. So here I want blended joint. So that's it. So a blended joint, what it does, it's if we show the transformation, so I'm just going to display here the transformation so basically it's oriented 
same way as the parent, but as soon as we move, maybe I should change to FK, so it's going to be easier. You can see one joint, it's rotating halfway of the parent, so in this case, the blended joint. So that's one way to do it. So we get a better deformation here. The other thing is we can add um, support joint on top of the blended joint. So in this case, I'm just going to add support joint there. It's on the top and I can move it around here, for instance. So we can add one. And let's do it numerically. So let's say negative point one, point 0.8. Select this. Add another one. And this one. Oh, no, sorry, not blended. The support. And this is going to be negative point 0.5 around there. And one more support joint around there this one is going to be 0.8 so we have negative 0.8 here 0.8 and 0.5 okay cool so let's do the same on the other side add blended joint then add support joint the first one, it's in this case, it's point eight. It, it's reverse because the um, the hierarchy or the joint structure in the on the right side is also reverse, so that's okay. Add support joint. So this is point five. That's the same. And add support joint. This is going to be negate 0.8. Okay, so we have this, and when we move, you can see this is moving halfway. And later with these joints, also we can add some RBF, so we'll help also to place better the deformation that we use on the skin. And on top of that, of course, we will add some corrective lane shapes. Okay, so I want to add to the to the leg base, I also want to add to the arm base. In this case, I'm just going to add a simple blended joint. And here is a blended joint. You can add to the shoulders if you want to make it also. And uh, you can add two blended joints at the same time, by the way. So this is going to be left shoulder, and this is going to be right shoulder. on the wrist also same thing so this one at blended joint and on the right side at blended joint and for the fingers so for the fingers i'm just going to hide the the controls Yeah, I think the selection is not correct. Just gonna add one by one, so it's gonna be easier. Yeah, no, 15, that's the, the one. And I have a little hotkey that selects a mirror. You can have this hotkey if you use the um, MGR utilities, create hotkeys. That's a big walk, so it's my shortcut. Or hotkey is uh, set to Alt Shift X, so it's mirror and X, and I select the other side. So I have now 30 selected, so I can just add blended joints all at the same time. Just double checking that this is the blend thumb L. If I go to the, my mirror side, it's right, so it looks correct. Everything, and don't worry, you don't need to repeat this every single time we will do it this time like this manually and later we will create like this custom step that will regenerate all these gimmick joints for you okay so i think let me check my notes but yeah i think that's uh, all the gimmick joints i want to to add to this uh, character so let's save here and continue in the next video